They, of course, remember him every day. But today's service gave the family of Corporal Harvey Holmes a special reason to celebrate him. It's nearly five years since he was killed by an improvised explosive device while serving in Afghanistan. We travelled with Harvey's sister and mother as they went from Greater Manchester to central London for the commemorations. Before they left, they told me of that knock at the door when they learned the horrendous news. I just felt completely numb. It's one of the worst feelings that you can ever experience, losing a child anyway. Um, but I wasn't expecting to lose him. I thought he was invincible. I thought he was Superman. He was fighting for his king and country, although it's the queen. Um, and he would, he would be walking home, he'd be coming home. Afghanistan ended Harvey's life and forever changed family life here. So with the end of the UK's military campaign there now properly marked, how does it feel for them? Part of me feels that if we say goodbye to Afghanistan, I'm also saying goodbye to Harvey, part of me. But I think the nice side is that I don't want it to be this war that's drug, you know, drags on for years and years and years and people never seem to get any closure and we don't move on and there will be other conflicts and, and other things that our armed forces will have to deal with in the future. So I think it's a little bit bittersweet. Just after today's service of poignancy and pageantry, Beverly and Elizabeth told us they found it uplifting. I thought it was beautiful, actually. We were determined not to cry because it's not a repetitive funeral. Instead, we carried pride on our shoulders, didn't we, and uh, really enjoyed the service. The UK's Afghanistan war effort is now over, but the respect and pride for Harvey and hundreds like him is unending. Julian Drucker, Five News.